What's going on, everybody? I'm out here again and out in the forest. This time I'm out here with a buddy. We're kind of scouting to see if we can see anything. It's kind of dry, but I did find a couple white shan trails, but they're a little slightly old, a little dry. But we'll see how well to do. And of course, before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's get this channel to grow. So let's see if we can find any white chanterelles, maybe turkey tails, and matsutake. All right, let's have some fun. All right, so I have my first white chanterelle, or yeah, it's a white chanterelle. It's not too dry, so that's a good sign. We're going to keep searching along this whole area, and maybe we'll find some more. All right, let's keep looking. If I find anything good, I will turn the camera back on, but yeah, not bad. Okay, so I'm coming up the slope, and I noticed, just like last time, I'm looking for the shift in the temperature in certain areas, and I'm finding them, so that's a chanterelle. That's a bit old, so, but either way, still has enough moisture, so I'll take this one. So there's got to be more over here somewhere, right in these ridges. Let's see if we can find anything else. I got a buddy over there it's in that corner. He's seeing the same thing too. And you can tell when a spot's been picked. If you look on the ground, you see all these little divots. Well, they're like a white ash. And that's typically a sign of like people finding some chanterelles or matsutake. I'm going to put my walking stick down. I see some over here. Yeah, see, like right here. So, yeah, this is still good. So we'll take this. Another chanterelle. So, okay, it's got some firmness to it. So we'll take that. So a lot of times, if you kind of walk on the base, if you find a chanterelle, you'll typically find a good cluster. So always keep your eyes open, and literally you could always miss it. So watch where you guys step. And of course, I always highly recommend people if you've never gone mushroom hunting. Go with someone that knows what they're doing, you know, because if you're unsure, don't take it. All right. So that's probably my biggest advice for everybody. All right. I'm going to keep on looking and see what else I can find. Okay. So I made my way in that corner. I came back down and I saw a little mound. So it looks like I found a cauliflower mushrooms. It looks... Okay, so we'll harvest this one here. Still moist, it's a little dry on top, but not bad. So we got a cauliflower mushroom. So these actually taste pretty good. You know, it's like a Chinese hot pot or just a quick stir fry. So I'm gonna see if I can find any more. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so I just came from that corner. I walk up. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of going like a vertical, you know, up and down. And I finally came across my first pine. It's kind of old though, but you know what? I will take it. So typically, like chanterelles, this is the number one. So it's still a button. Oh yeah, smells pretty good. So usually if you find one, there's more in these areas. So I'm gonna look around this tree and maybe around these surrounding areas I might find more we'll see what happens but yeah my first pine of the year miss is gonna be happy all right let's see what else we can find so we're gonna stay in this area and uh maybe find some more all right like I said I'll keep looking if I find anything I'll turn the camera back on All right, there it is. Matsutake number two, so this is a number, this is a number one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. All right, looks like we're in a good spot. Now a lot of people use <clears throat> candy cane as an identifier to look for pine. 
I've never been lucky using candy canes to find pine. So if anybody's had an experience, definitely let me know. But this is a really nice one. Look at that. All right, we're going to keep looking. I wonder if there's any more in this area. I'll double check. And a lot of times you want to look for these little bumps, or they call them frumps, mushroom bumps. So let me walk over here. It seems like they're pretty spread out. Uh, if I don't see anything there, I'm going to go down a little bit. But it seems like they're preferring certain areas that has a little more cooler spots. I know there's a lot of different temperature shifts in these areas. And so I know there's a spot to be a little warm. And spots would be a little bit cooler. And the ones that are usually the coolest when I'm finding them. And a lot of times the sun will play tricks and try. So, but you know what? It doesn't always hurt to check it. So you might get lucky in finding some, uh, some pine mushrooms. I haven't found any turkey tails yet. So look at that. This is an artist conch. Well, that'd be cool if I could find a, a reishi mushroom. That would be awesome. All right, so that's two matsutake. Yeah, you can tell like the spot's been picked. That's been picked already. So let's go over there. No, I'm not. I'm gonna check all these areas. So Locke said these are fried chicken mushrooms. So how yeah. do you tell? Um, so they grow in a cluster and their base is like... Um, is it dense? Yeah, it's really big around here. Oh, and really? after that, when they grow, it's just like pretty massive. Really? But they're all in a big cluster, just like that. That's why they're like fried chicken. chicken oh, okay. Gallon. So, but, but these are like, fried chickens, huh? Yep. Interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah. I guess. Oh, hang on. There's some right here. Maybe that is that also fried chicken? Um, I'm sure. Could be. I'm not sure what it is. There's, a, there's more in the base right here. Is it? Um, not? Looks like something be. else, huh? It could be. It's just very old. Oh, okay. It's too dry for them too. All right, cool. Grow, so. That's cool. I actually never seen fried chicken <laughs> mushroom. He's had them before. He said they taste pretty good. I've never had them, so. Really? All right, that's pretty cool, though. But that's it, huh? Can be grow to be a collection. All right, that's awesome. All right, we're going to keep looking. So I found two matsutake already. You did? I found a number one. Sweet. Yeah, so what did Where you find so far? You? Anything? Oh, trash. <laughs> yeah whoever comes out here you guys need to pick up your trash this is the only problem i have when people are out hunting or camping you know if you bring in something take it with you that's the only problem that i have that's awesome yeah so right here even though it's dry no there's a number one. Oh, perfect this i think man, man it is dry yeah. oh this one's that, that one's not too bad hmm. it's not great all right, so we're going to keep right? looking. Right on. So were they underground? Or yeah, they were underground. I just saw like a little bump. They're just yeah. popping out. Yeah. But I noticed that the temperatures were like kind of shift, and that's where I found them. Mm -hmm. Cool spots. Yep. So, but oh, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, well, hopefully, I mean, I'll be happy to find more fried chicken mushrooms. That's cool. All right, let's keep looking. Okay, so I think I found my first batch of fried chicken. I could be wrong, yeah. but is that it? Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, they actually grow about another four or five times larger. Oh, wow. That's the inner, um, inner wood fried chicken. This one, there are... So these are still pretty good then, right? I'm assuming. Yeah. All right, I'll take these ones home. <laughs> They're probably small, but uh, that's not probably the first time I ever found these. So, yeah, like you said, they grow in clusters. All right, so I'll probably be the first one to try now when I get home. My wife doesn't feel comfortable. There's the, uh, the right. go along the side of the road as well. Oh, I've never seen those before. Yeah, they're kind of lightly brown cap, like like mm -hmm. a like a bread bun color, right? Yeah. See that? I've always seen this, but I was always afraid to take them home. So all right, those are but seen. all right, I'm gonna things. pick these and when I get home, I'll take some photos. So, but <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's probably the first time I've ever seen, you know, fried chicken mushrooms. So it's cool. 
So a lot of times when I get too deep, I use my hori hori, which is a really, it's a Japanese gardening tool. This is the bare bones one. I really like this one because it cuts to the roots. But uh, like you said, it's got dense clusters. The base is like a cauliflower mushroom. And, uh, but yeah, this one might be a little bit, but I'm going to take this home and take some photos. That's pretty cool. All right, maybe there's more around here. Oh, that's interesting. All right, we changed to another spot. So Locke and I found some lobster mushrooms and a couple more. Uh, chanterelles are kind of slightly dry, but but yeah, this is what lobster mushrooms look like. You can tell because you know when you cook a lobster, it has that reddish orange color. Uh, we'll probably take these and probably give them to somebody who wants them. You know, I'm not a big fan, but there's people out there that actually like them. All right, we're gonna check the spot and maybe head down further because I'm not finding any more. There's another one right there. There's another lobster. <clears throat> yeah, I think there's another one right here. And they're just everywhere on this side. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll probably take these and give them to one of our neighbors. Alright, let's go here. There's another one down there. Where? Right yeah, you see like these little frumps, so. You always want to check them. A lot of times you'll find mushrooms, but nothing on that one. Is that lobster right there? Mm -hmm. Yep, there's another lobster. Quite decayed though. So oh, so we'll leave that one alone. But yeah, we're going to check around here for more lobsters, and I guess I'll probably give it to. One of my neighbors, so he'll probably appreciate him. I don't think he's ever had him, but yeah. He's, how's that one over there? That one. That was no good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put these ones in a bag, and we'll check around here, see if we can find some more. So I just found another chantra, which looks pretty healthy. Uh, Locke found three buttons. <laughs> I think those are his first ones, so we're kind of checking this whole area here. Seems a little, a little damp, not too wet, but we'll see if we'll find anything here. If not, we'll move to another spot, but I mean, all in all, it's not too bad today. I mean, it could be better, but we'll take what we can get. So we noticed that we were up higher no luck. I mean, I found another Matsutake, but that's about it. And it just seems like as the lower we go, we're finding them, which is kind of odd. So we'll keep checking these areas. If not, we're going to move to another spot. We are here, some, some gunfire. And we are like noticing there's people out also looking for mushrooms as well. But yeah, definitely if you're going to go mushroom hunting, go with a partner, bring a radio, like right here. That way you can keep in check with each other. So that way you know how far you've gone. So check over here real quick before we move to another spot. I don't see anything over here. All right, we're gonna keep searching and then head to another spot. All right, so we're driving by, heading to another location, and I'm like, hmm, I see a log that's falling down. So, of course, oh, I come across some turkey tails. We finally found some. Yay, Look at that. I know. See if there's any more of these around these logs, like the fallen ones over there and over there. But if we find like these here, that means they're still fresh. And, um, oh yeah. Oh, that's so nice. So we found our first set of turkey tails. I'm gonna take these home and uh, basically just dry them out. But yeah, this is pretty cool. This is a good find. All right, so I'm gonna harvest these and see if we can find some more in this area. This is pretty cool. This is a good find. Huh? Take no log. <laughs> I just wanna harvest what I can. So we'll let these grow out. All right, we just got back. Locke just went home, 
Uh, I'm gonna drop off some lobster mushroom and cauliflower mushroom to one of my neighbors. They've never had it, so hopefully they enjoy it. And other than that, guys, uh, thanks for coming along on this adventure. I'll see you in the next one, and I'm gonna have an update on the uh, mushroom buckets. It's fully colonized, so in about a few more days, we're gonna go into the fruiting process. All right, stay tuned for that video, and I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for joining me on this adventure. Peace.